I'm here today on April 26, 2013 in beautiful Sorrento, southern Italy. As a matter of fact, I'm just outside of Sorrento, going up somewhere into the mountains at a farm called La Sorgente, right? And this is a farm, I, I think Rosa, you were telling me, a farm that produces mozzarella, yes. limoncello, wine and wi olive oil. Wine and olive oil, yes. so true ag agriturismo. Yes, but we have uh, also very different fruits growing all on one uh, piece of land. Uh -huh. We have also mandarin, oranges, peaches, apricots, walnuts, wow. so that's cherry, sour cherry, olive figs and grapes. You have all sorts so of fruits here. I call it uh, tutti frutti farm. Tutti frutti, <laughs> okay, that's great. It's mixed up and it's very unique. Eh? That's right. And, and um, here we have mozzarella from uh, the seven cows that yes. you have, okay. Yes, seven cows, they give Marie um, about 40, 50 liters of milk in the morning. In the morning, okay. In the morning, and she makes in the milk rennet. Uh -huh. Rennet is um, an enzyme. Uh -huh. After two and a half hours, the milk with the rennet coagulates. Okay. So it looks like that. Huh? There is oh. a remaining liquid <coughs> that is the whey. Uh huh. So we have curds and whey. Okay. She separates the whey from the curd first, and okay. then she boils it up. On the top of the boiling whey, raise up another type of cheese. It's a light white cream that you have to uh -huh. skim off always. Okay. So this is a cheese also? Yes, this is the first cheese that you get out only from the boiling way. Uh, what would that one be called? This is ricotta. This is ricotta? Yeah. Oh. Ricotta is a very light cheese. Yes. We use it a lot to fill in cannelloni. Very and fluffy. And lasagna. Yeah. yeah. How we bake cakes for it, eh? Okay. It's creamy and soft. That's and if I want to translate ricotta in English, that it means, means very simply recooked, ricotta. right? Yeah. Twice. Exactly, huh? yeah. Yeah, because she have to keep the way all the time hot, so uh -huh. that up, and all the time raise the cream cheese that she skims off. <coughs> but there's now a second reason why she had to boil it up. She used the whey again. She mixed the whey again in the curd, so uh -huh. that now the curd changed the consistency. Okay. So, you see, now she did it a little bit before you came. Uh -huh. It's more softer and elastic. Okay. Mm -hmm. And naturally, this is here now our old way to show you. Uh -huh. In the past, every farmer lady did this in this way. But now it's rare to find ladies in the farm who spent the time to make it. Yes. It's too much time, four or five hours. Oh, wow. And it's not more so rare to find it set. Mm -hmm. Now, you find it set everywhere. You find it most in a round shape, like a bowl. Okay. Filled in the bag with the liquid inside. But this is a very normal shape. Maria doesn't like it and doesn't make it. Uh -huh. She have different shapes here for different uses. Wow! The one that she often makes special in the summer is a treccia. Mm -hmm. So treccia means braid or plait. Yes. That is a nice round braided ring. Beautiful. That is the shape that the people love to buy because it's very nice for the presentation. That's right, yeah. You have first to enjoy to see and then to eat it. Uh huh. That's why she braid that. Beautiful. And she has learned this work from the mother. Uh huh. She was 16 years old when she started to learn how to make it. And she makes it since she was 16. Mm -hmm. Now I can see she's starting to form the basics of a braid, right? Yes, right. Okay. Now look how she braided it. It's a round braid, it's not a long one. Uh huh. And sometimes she put in this braid slices of prosciutto inside. Oh, really? So you can mix yes. it up with different ingredients? Yes. Very nice. Treccia. Uh -huh. So what happens with all the liquid that's left over here? Uh, she feed the pigs with that. Oh, okay. What does that taste like, actually? Sour milk. Like sour milk. Yeah, okay. Something like that. Look how beautiful. This is oh the my God. <laughs> so it's very soft and warm in the hand. Uh -huh. She have to pull it up. So every <coughs> sheep that she finished, she put first in cold, simply water to cool. Uh -huh. Then she put in a salted water to salt it, and in 20 minutes, this is immediately ready, fresh to be served. Wow. <coughs> and now a last shape is also very typical. We so cheese the same day. It's not yes. aged like no, some no, of the no, cheeses. No. This second one is to age. Mm -hmm. It comes now. This is called Cacio Cavallo, and okay. this she makes in from October until end of this month. It okay. has to be cool, not warm. Uh huh. Because after finish to shape it, she cool it down in mm -hmm. cold water, and then she leave this shape one hour in the salted water. Okay. Because so dries and preserve it. Mm -hmm. Then she hang it up. You can see some hanged out there. And if you look in the oh, kitchen, these ones here. Yes. 
They're almost like um Cash cavallo. Yeah. Or also in the kitchen you okay. can find some. Let's have a look. What's the doggy's name? The cheese dog? Stella. Stella. She's so friendly. She's so friendly. Yes. Okay, so this is the kitchen. Oh yeah. I'm walking into all sorts of things here. So this is the kitchen and these are some of the cheeses that are hanging down. They're quite small, huh? Yes, because a little bit they get smaller when they dry, you know? Uh-huh. So they shrink a little bit. Yes. Okay. So, let me come back with another clip and we'll show the remainder of the process. Okay.